Shazam! What is up you guys, it's Violet Taylor here and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now, I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As you guys can see, this is my spoiler-free review on Black Adam 2022. Now, I have to start by saying this film was absolutely amazing. It was so refreshing to see a non-Marvel movie, if that makes any sense. So, I'm going to start off by shouting out some of the actors that were in this movie because, man, it is so good. So, obviously, you know we got Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam. We've got Noah Centino as Atom Smasher. He was funny. He he did really well in the film. Pierce Brosnan, Dr. Fate, charming, absolutely badass. Loved him. Uh, I'm not going to mention who this character is because, you know, most people know, but I'm not going to mention it. Anyway, we have Quintessa Swindell as Cyclone. Really, really enjoyed her character. She's got the brains. She's um, technologically advanced kind of thing. Like, oh, she was good as well. Um, we do have Aldis Hodge as Hawkman. And then obviously we have returning cast, which is Viola Davis as The Wall, a.k.a. Amanda Waller. And then we have Marwan Kenzara as Sabak. Now, visually this movie is, oh my God. This visual, visually this movie is absolutely, mwah, absolutely amazing. So the actors, chemistry, absolutely smashed it on screen. We have these set pieces in this film. It looks so clean. Oh, my God. I want to go and see this film in IMAX, if it's in IMAX. I went to go and see it in 4DX, which was, oh, it was just another level. Um, the pacing of the film is really good. It's like wall-to-wall -wall action scenes. There's good pacing. You're never going to be bored. Everybody in my cinema show was like, oh, yo, Black Adam. Ah. Everyone was going nuts. Um, the runtime, again, Pleasantly surprised. I wanted a bit more, but that's just a nitpick or gripe. That's nothing to take away from it. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, the end credit scene, again, sets up for future. But overall, I absolutely love this film. So, bit of a bit of a plot. I'm not going to tell you the whole thing, because obviously this is spoiler-free. So, obviously, we stumble upon um, the human characters. Now, everybody knows in these films, nobody cares about the human characters. It's the same as in Godzilla vs. King Kong. Nobody cares about the human characters. Nobody cares. But anyway, pretty much we get um, these human characters that are off on this archaeological thing. You know, one thing leads to another. Tenth Adam gets woken up. So, he's pretty much like... He's like a man out of time. He doesn't exactly know... Because obviously back in his time, you know, you could kill people. And, you know, it was just... You did what you had to do. Obviously, now with the age of superheroes, with the JSA and stuff like that, you know, obviously they're there to stop him and make sure that he doesn't cause any harm or try and be like a dictator to conduct. Um, but yeah, the one thing I would say, there's not really much there for the end villain. Now, what I mean by that is he looks cool, wicked fight scene and stuff like that, but... I don't know. You just would have wanted to just you would have wanted you would have wanted just a bit more. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, overall, absolutely love this movie. Straight eight out of ten. Absolutely love this movie. Fantastic. Um, would I like to see some more JSA members? Yeah, but that's like again, that's like a nitpick and a gripe. That's nothing to take away. But overall, really, really good plot to this movie. I liked it. It is like a it is like a anti hero thing. Like you know, he does turn. Um, you know, because if you guys didn't know in the comics, um, Black Adam has been friends with the JSA before. Um, he's kind of like Aquaman. Anything that concerns his country, he'll defend, but he'll work alongside people. He's kind of like an anti-hero slash non-anti-hero because he has been good before. He's been good friends with Atom Smasher before on the JSA. But yeah, overall, absolutely love this movie. Like, it was just so refreshing to see um, a movie where the funnies were actually funny. Not like, you know... You know, let's not mention uh, <coughs> Love and Thunder, <coughs> which was just wall to wall laughs and laughs and didn't really take itself seriously, which it needed to with the plot of the film. But yeah, overall, absolutely loved this. The jokes landed, the um, all the costumes looked amazing, they looked ripped out of the comics. And I'm not gonna lie, this isn't a spoiler. Yo, they give my man a cape. That's all I'm saying. I was here for the cape. I was here for it, my guy. 15 years it took to get this film. 15 years. I like the Joker said in The Dark Knight. And you didn't disappoint. Cheers! Absolutely amazing. Man, like, I know a lot of people complained that Dwayne The Rock Johnson plays himself in every movie. But this movie, he didn't. He didn't. And I've got no problem with Dwayne playing himself in every movie. Like, he was in Jumanji. Thought it was brilliant. He was in Jungle Cruise. Thought it was brilliant. Different. I liked it. 
I like this movie. So yeah, again, a lot of people hate on DC movies. I don't have a problem with DC movies. I am a DC boy until I die. Marvel is like a second for me. I do like Marvel, but DC is where it's at. And again, who do people always want to put their superheroes up against? Any superhero that gets made, who do they always put them up against? Goku. They, they, was it Goku, Hulk, um, Sentry, um, uh, Hyperion? Who do they always put them up against as a strength contest? Superman. They have to put them up against Superman. That's how you know your superhero is at least up to some par if he can at least maybe have a small fraction hang with the Man of Steel. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, let me know in the comments down below. Are you going to go and watch Black Adam this weekend? Is this something for you? Is this something not for you? But uh, yeah, overall, really, really love this movie. Would love to know you guys' opinion. Obviously, spoilers... Um, free video you know try and contain yourself from spoilers but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to smash the like button if you didn't enjoy the video like i said let me know in the comments down below if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and join team let's catch a vibe also if you are new please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get notified as soon as i upload but more importantly don't forget to stay bit bit vibey and i'll catch you all in the next video peace shazam also um where is it where is it where is it where is it whoa 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 one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Cheers! Had to cop, obviously, Dr. Fate. Had to cop him. Had to cop him. Cheers!